Alright, so today we're going to talk about atomic structure and charge. Now, when a scientist talks about matter, she's essentially talking about atoms. Uh, because basically all matter in the universe is made up of atoms, sort of. Um, what's most interesting is that the atom itself is not a fundamental unit. There are subatomic particles, so there are parts which the atom is actually made up of. Now we're going to use today as our example a helium atom, okay? And this is how you would draw a helium atom. You have two protons in the middle, uh, two neutrons in the middle, and two electrons. Now this middle section is what we refer to as the nucleus. And this outer section here is what we would call the orbits. Um, so there's ore shells. Um, shells is another thing that, that would be called. So that's the electron shell or the electron orbit. Now, when we look at a proton, we're looking at something which has a positive charge. It lives in the nucleus, and its atomic mass is roughly one atomic mass unit. Um, ANU stands for atomic mass unit. Um, neutrons also live in the nucleus, but they are neutral. Um, they have no charge, so that's what neutral means, and they also have a mass of one atomic mass unit. Um, then we have the electron. Now, the electron itself is has a negative in charge. It um, orbits in the shells. But the main difference, the really crazy difference, is how small it is. It is one eighteen hundredth the size of a proton, or 5.4 times 10 to the minus 4 atomic mass units. Now, let's have a talk, talk about charge. You'll notice something really interesting here in that we have the same number of positives as we do negatives. So when we talk about atomic charge, we really want to remember that most atoms, they tend to be neutral. And this means they have the same number of electrons and protons. Um, and if an atom gains electrons, it'll become negative. So if this atom here scores an extra E minus, that means it will have three negative charges, two positive charges. So its overall charge will be minus one. Now, if an atom loses an electron, it becomes positive. So if we lose this electron here, what we end up with is two protons, so two positive charges, one negative charge, and the overall charge would be plus one. Now, just to, we'll just have this so it's written down. The helium atom, HE is for helium, has two electrons, so two minus, and two proton, protons, so two plus, and its charge is zero. Okay, if we add a charge, uh, add a negative, it now has three electrons, two protons, the charge is minus one. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. We'll get back to you as quick as we can. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.